Okay, so make sure that you have at least four stacks of blocks on you. I grabbed a little extra and I would suggest bringing a bed because you're not going to want to keep leaving the farm and going back to sleep. And if you do not have an elytra like I do, make sure you bring your ladders that I already suggested making. So then you're just going to dig up from the, the ocean floor like that. You're going to stand right here. Make yourself a little platform around if you're not like me and screwing it up. That's okay. I have plenty. So, just make yourself a little platform to where you can get out of the ocean, you know, and stand on it, because it's just easier that way. You probably, if you have an elytra, you don't need to really do this whole thing, but... So then, we're going to go all the way up to 210. You're just going to hold down your jump button and your place button, and look straight down. And you're just going to keep going until it says 210 for the Y coordinate. All the way up. The reason why we do this is because it makes sure nothing on the ground is being loaded in so no spawns happen down there. Like you can see drown down there, fish down there. But as I go higher, boom, they just despawn right there. The higher we go, just make sure that just make sure that anything like that is far enough away till there's no way that anything can spawn. The higher you go, obviously the easier your rates are gonna be. So and creeper farms are pretty uh, pretty inefficient on bedrock, honestly. Still don't know why we don't have parity between the versions yet for mob spawning but it is what it is I wish we had sweeping edge too and we had their combat system but maybe someday <laughs> um, we <laughs> this farm is not technically difficult to make at all it is just resource heavy and um, you know a little bit of a uh, intensive building here We're almost there. Mm -mm -mm. Not to mention you get a gorgeous view. <laughs> All right, so 2.10, 2.9, and 2.10. So now we're standing at 2.10. So you're gonna crouch and you're gonna build out on both sides just a little bit. Make yourself a nice platform. You're gonna bring it out. Just make sure you have some room. that and uh, I do suggest doing this because this is where your ladder is going to be bring a little platform that comes out around where you're not well, I wasn't even looking over there I don't know how the block placed there but okay so we're going to go like this give yourself a nice little space to come up but then some so it's easy to get off your ladder you know all right if you don't have an ender chest this next part's not going to be something that you can do but I am going to place an ender chest down here just so it makes it easier in case I need anything put that right there um, we're going to need, put this a little bit inwards, we're going to need our stuff for our trident killer now. So four observers, four pistons, a uh, four redstone torches, a lever, and our trident. And you're also going to need building blocks as well. We'll pick that back up just to get it out of the way for right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to look this way, you're going to place a piston, then you're going to place a piston, then you're going to place a piston. So if you look, it's like one over and then two over place one over, two over, place. So in that configuration, okay, if you've never built a trident killer. So then on the left side of every single piston, you're gonna place a redstone torch, just like that. Boom. Then you're gonna crouch in the center, look at the redstone torch, place the observer. The arrow will be force facing towards the next piston. You're gonna do that all the way around, like so, just like that. Then you're gonna come over here, you're gonna put on your lever, you're going to place it on this piston right here. You're going to flick it. That will make it fire once. Flick it again. And it should continuously go around in circles. And that is how you build a trident killer. Fast and easy. You can throw a trident in. But I wouldn't do that right yet. You're going to do that later. So we're going to turn that off. I'm actually going to just stick the trident right there for right now. Just to make it easier. Then you're going to grab a bunch of blocks. Just put them on your bar. So we're going to build around the trident killer, and then we're going to bring the bring it up. I'm going to do 18. Some people say 20, but 18 is plenty, trust me. Um, so you're just going to go like this. Place one right here. Crouch, place one right there. Back off, like so. This will be taken out and replaced with a stair, and this will be a piece. You need one piece of glass. I forgot to mention that, but it's one piece of glass. It's not very hard to get. But for right now, we're going to do exactly what I just did like so like that and then put down a block right here 
use it to jump up. So standing up here, we already have one block. So we're gonna go up 17, right? So I have 57 in this stack, an easy way to count, I'll be at 40. So we're just gonna go, mm -mm -mm -mm. I have feather falling. If you do not have feather falling, be careful of your health and pay attention. So 40 right there, boom. Now all we have to do is make all the sides match up to that. All the way up. All the way around the trident killer. Boom, like so. Drop down again. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right, so I'm gonna do this all the way around and I'll be right back with the next step. Okay, so now you should be looking at this. This is the trident killer. This is our platform down here. You will have this whole perfect square. Okay, so water flows eight blocks okay so you need a nine block long thing but this block right here that we just built around the trident killer is going to count towards that so we still need to build out since we need nine we're going to build out eight in each direction so one two three four five six seven eight because we need a border wall so this is going to end up being a border wall like that on top of this is going to go a stair and that's going to be our water sources which are going to flow down towards the center pushing everything that falls down off of our spawning platforms in and you need to do this on each side right because you need it flowing on each side so one two three four five six seven eight eight <laughs> All right, so as you can see, we have the whole thing filled in. Um, now, for the next part, you're gonna go off of the side, crouch, place a couple blocks out like this. Then box it in like this. Actually, I'll take it out a couple more just so I don't have to block what I need to do next like this boom just like that and then we close this in right here so then just because that's gonna bother me <laughs> didn't didn't necessarily need that block but that would drive me crazy so we're gonna take boxes here okay so the two bucket of water obviously if you you probably know what I'm doing right now infinite water source because you're gonna need a lot of it okay and then we need I made a crafting table there it is we're gonna take the crafting table we're gonna remove some of these blocks for right now we're gonna set down our crafting table right here and we are gonna make let's see if a stack of stairs is enough first so you're gonna go around the whole border like this placing a stack of stairs just like that all the way around all right so now we're placing in our last couple buckets of water it started raining all of a sudden not a not a big fan right now while i'm trying to do this but it is what it is as after i fixed my dumb mistake everything should be looking like this as you can see all the water flowing perfectly towards the center blocks but not over them if it overflows it would be bad because it'll break your redstone torches which will break your trident killer so now that we place those in our water platform is perfect so if we just stand here as you can see it will move us towards the center no matter what which is exactly what we're looking for and since the mobs can't see you they will just let it happen so the next part we're gonna need some blocks for this I'm gonna I'm gonna freehand this we're gonna see we might have to adjust a little bit but I want you to show what I want to show you what goes into making it so so we're gonna go like this right and we need boom boom we're gonna do something like that. It needs to at least have two spaces of um, space underneath because all mobs are, especially creepers, are less than two blocks tall. So if we go like this and we remove those now, this is gonna be the start of our spawning platforms. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna crouch and we're gonna look at this edge of the block and we're gonna go like this. Boom, 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 boom. And you're just gonna go to each corner and if we have to adjust it, we have to adjust it. I find that sometimes it doesn't perfectly match up, so I have to remove one little strip. But if we go like this, then we come this way, we're gonna go like this. We're gonna build it just like this, so that way we don't have to undo a bunch of stuff. You're gonna build strips like this with a little gap in between, okay? 
I'm just trying not to place blocks down below in the water because then I have to break them, so I'm just going to take my time. Oh, and as I say that, I do it by accident. And I'll go down to the trident killer, that's fine. So boom, you're going to end up with something like this, and then each, every other block, you're going to go like this. So you're going to leave a one cube gap. See how it doesn't, doesn't add up? So what we're actually going to do, now that I know, I can build the rest of this platform very simply and easily, and we'll just do the whole thing. But now we know that that wasn't going to work with the dimensions we have, so we're going to go like this. And now we know exactly how big to build this platform. It's that simple, because you need you want those, those one by one spaces the whole way. So we're going to go like this. Now this should make it so it works out perfectly fine. So we're going to match it up with that platform. This is just giving creepers area to spawn on. That's all it does. So we're going to branch out and come this way. And once you have this first platform built, you know the dimensions of all the other ones because they're all built exactly the same. So then you're going to skip a block, right? And then you're just going to come out like this. All the way across. I freehand all my stuff. I don't go into creative worlds and plan it all out. A lot of content creators do that because it streamlines the process and then they build it in creative just to make it quick and easy for people. But if you want to see how to do it in survival, this is how it goes. Not everything goes to plan, so unless you plan it out, obviously. <laughs> so we're just going to go all the way across and we're going to be tricking the creepers into walking off because they see trap doors as full blocks so when you put a trap door down and then you open the trap door they will willingly walk right off um so there's going to be trap doors in each of each of those one by one blocks and then there's going to be buttons that we're going to do in a grid pattern to stop spiders from spawning and then we're going to do trap doors where there isn't a button which will make it so we only get creepers because creepers are less than two blocks tall but skeletons and zombies two blocks tall Spiders need um, a big, wide space, a long space to grow. That's what the buttons are for. So as we place that grid pattern, you will only get creepers. So you see how this isn't even, which is what I, I knew could happen. So we're actually going to take out this line of blocks right here. And this will make it so our farm is perfectly working here. Like I said, we're not measuring any of it. We're just freehanding it all. So then we go like this. Boom. And this will be our spawning, our spawning platform size right here. So if you do exactly what I just did, you will come to the same conclusions I did. So boom, boom. Then we just fill in these, make them all one by one gaps. Boom. And then we're going to do the same thing right here. The first thing you do is you're going to start at a corner. And then it's literally just one space. Space out the buttons by one block. In a grid pattern like this. All the way across the spawning platform. Boom, 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 boom. We can fill in that water source and get rid of it, but I'll do that later. So we'll go like this. Oh. Where's my... Yeah, you definitely want your axe on. It just makes it so much faster to deal with. Just like that. Should take I th pretty much exactly one stack of buttons per level. That's why I only grab four stacks of buttons. It is exactly one stack of buttons. This will stop all spider spawns just by doing this because they don't have a two by two anywhere. So then w what we're going to do, is we're going to move this first of all, and then we're going to take stacks of blocks again, and we're going to build the next spawning platform crouch look at the button right so that's only one space so we need to jump and place another one then we break this block then we're going to come over to the side of the farm right over here where the stairs are we're going to crouch we're going to place that then we're going to place this that and then we're going to go like this boom and boom giving us a stair set up to jump over we're going to jump over crouch and do the same exact grid pattern you can look ex you can look right below you and you can see that you're building it exactly the same as below Okay, so as you can see, we have the second spawning platform done. So now we're going to move on and show you exactly what the trap doors are used for. 
Um, trap doors are like 50% of this farm. I wish I was kidding. Um, so we're going to come back down to the first floor. Okay, so first thing you're going to do, you got to make sure that you do this part always the same. So whenever you're on the next level, you're going to look down and see exactly where you place the trap doors. They all have to go in the same direction. So we're going to go like this and head left to right and place the trap doors in each one of these open squares the exact same way every time. So as you can see, we have all the trap doors placed. So we're going to come back over here. Now we're going to open all the trap doors just like this the edge of the farm on each spawning platform you have to do this on every single one you're going to place a trap door you're going to look at the top half of the block and then you're just going to go like this all the way around then you're going to do the same thing on this all the way around then we go open all the trap doors mobs will see it and just walk right off thinking that they have another step but they don't The biggest problem with creeper farms on bedrock is the fact that you have to do all this to cut out certain spawns and since we have a lower mob cap than java does it just takes way way longer to get the same rates so now for the annoying part of the trap doors wherever there's not a button needs to be a trap door so you're going to start at this block right here right so second block in, boom, trap door, right? And then it's just like this. Since we know what the grid pattern is, it's a grid pattern down there, so it's gonna be a grid pattern for the trap door. So you're gonna walk backwards and you're just gonna go left to right like this. Boom, just like that. And then you're gonna turn like this and then any place you want one block in between, you know? So it's that simple. You're gonna go like that. Everything will line up, boom. See how it's a grid pattern? Then you're gonna turn back this way, do the same thing, left to right. This is how I find the fastest way to do it. I've built probably a hundred of these. <laughs> so I have my own little techniques that I enjoy. So we come back through, turn right, walk down, just placing a trap door at each one of these locations. Then left to right. <laughs> just very repetitive over and over again. But once you get used to it, it's very difficult to screw it up and you'll usually instantly recognize when you didn't place one in the correct area. So then we're going to go like this. Get our grid pattern going. Mm -mm. This is why you need so much wood for this farm. Just like that. And uh, it might be a good idea once you're at two platforms before you do the third to start placing down torches. You're going to have to remove them later on, but it'll keep you safe. <laughs> you really don't want anything spawning in here at nighttime creeper drops down and blows up all your hard work it's happened to me before you're gonna want to lose it just like that right grid pattern boom boom as you can see it's pretty obvious where you need to be placing them just like this boom right and then bang 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 Wherever the gap is, that's where you're going to be placing the trapdoors. Boom. Now we have our grid pattern. If you notice, if we stand on a button and we look directly up, there is no trapdoor. See? Button. No trapdoor. Wherever there is one, a creeper will spawn right here and right here and right here. But the trapdoor will make it so it's always a creeper because the skeleton doesn't have enough room to spawn there. So you're going to do the same thing every single floor. And when you get to the fourth floor, you're going to have to build a huge roof of stone over it. And then you're going to put torches on top of those stones so nothing can spawn up there because that will slow down your rates and you'll get any kind of mob up there. Okay, so we're going to keep building this. I'm going to have to sleep real quick. I will see you in a second. Here, and I'm placing torches on our little area right here that we uh, don't want anything spawning on, to be quite honest at all i'll go through the collection system in a minute um but first we're going to finish off the rest of those spawning platforms i just want to make you aware put some torches down here because mobs will start to spawn down here if it gets dark okay so we have to make sure that the trap doors are lining up perfectly right so what we're going to do is we're going to place down the trap door and open this one see how they both are open the same exact way so we're going to go across and we're going to do the same exact thing all the way across just like we did on the first level I just wanted to go over that one quick little thing and I will be back when I finished all these trap doors 
All right, believe it or not, I decided to stop at three spawning platforms because I ran out of wood. Um, so I had to go get more, but three is perfect for the tutorial. But the more that you build, the better your rates will be. My other farm has way more layers than this, so the rates are going to be a little bit better on that farm, but it doesn't matter. This will be plenty for the tutorial. So before we build the roof, because you need zero light inside the farm, once they changed the light for mob spawning, it actually made creeper farms a little bit more difficult. But time to show you the collection system. So first thing we're going to do, if you had ladders, this might be a little bit easier for you, but I didn't bring ladders. So what I'm going to do is place a block down. So what we need is we're going to need a chest, a hopper, then a minecart with hopper. So we need to be three blocks below the trident killer so one two three so we're gonna go like this we're gonna build out over here then we need the exact block that we need to be on so shouldn't be that big of a problem I'll fly up real quick go a little bit higher okay ow <laughs> all right so we want the collection system to be at 143 negative 2710 but we could even do 2711 so negative 2711 is what we're looking for negative 2711 so that is this block right here that we're standing on right here so this is where the chest is going to go so we're going to go like this we are going to place down our shulker boxes all right so I picked the right one good because I could not remember you're gonna want to torch up this platform as well for sure so we're gonna go like this and we'll take both of these back so 2711 right here so boom boom right and I did it one level too high so we actually have to go down another level which isn't a problem we'll take care of that first and we will put on the axe to make this quicker. I'll leave the rockets off for right now. Boom, boom, pick those back up. So we need to go down one more block. So that's actually pretty easy to fix. We'll put on blocks again. It's becoming dark, so I'm gonna have to sleep again as well. So we're gonna go, not like that. like that so that's where our actual platform is going to be so what we'll do is pick back up our shulker box then we'll remove this like that and then we'll build this platform where we actually need it doesn't matter because the coordinate we're looking for is still the same stuff can actually spawn up there at night which means we could have creepers drop down our head in a second and we really really don't want that didn't mean to place that, but it doesn't matter. We're going to sleep in the bed. So remember, you need three blocks of space. So, I mean, obviously you're going to make mistakes sometimes. So, But as long as you recognize what you're doing, you're fine. So 2711 would be these. So we're going to put double chest, just like that. And right here. So then you're going to put a chest, a hopper flowing into that chest. Then you're going to place a block. You're going to go up on top of it. You're going to place your rail on top of that while crouching. So you're going to crouch, place the rail. Then you're going to place your minecart with hopper on top of that. As you can see, it's going into the floor. Then you're going to surround that with four solid blocks like so. Do not touch the minecart. You do not want it to fall. We're going to hold it in place just like that. So as you can see, so now, I don't know if there was anything in, in, in there. There wasn't. So let's check to make sure that we are collecting our items correctly. You'll have a ladder. I do not. I'll put some ladders in later just to get from floor to floor. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw some blackstone in there. Right? And then we're going to turn on the trident killer. It looks like it already got picked up, so I'm pretty sure it's working just fine. We're going to drop back down. We're going to check in the chest. Boom. Everything that drops in there will be collected for you. So then we're going to go like this. We're going to come back up here. Mm. So, 
we're gonna place a stair just like this this will be a solid block right up here I, pick, I move that out so that way I can do it. You're going to throw your trident in before you actually do this. I'm just showing you how the collection system is going to work because we're not ready for it yet. But we are going to throw a trident in there. So right now I'm going to take some torches and place them around down on these bottom layers like this so we don't get mobs spawning there. And I find it's a good idea to put torches on the sides like this as well of this farm because... Um, for some reason, you might get a spider that spawns in some weird locations sometimes, and you really just don't want to deal with them. So, do yourself a favor and do that. Just like this. Okay. Alright. You're going to... One chest is going to be plenty for the gunpowder, but multiple chests if you plan on AFKing for, you know, overnight or something to get a ton of gunpowder at once. I do that sometimes. So, as you can see, we have our three spawning platforms built. We have the trap doors everywhere. We have to make sure that they're on every level, which I believe they are. Just like that. See, then we're going to build our roof, and we're going to do the same grid pattern on the big roof. That's going to the, the roof is going to go pretty far off the farm. You're going to do the same grid pattern on that roof, only over the spawning platform. But before you do all that, you need to remove all spawnable blocks that are outside the farm. So your water source, come over here, fill it in like that, break all of these blocks. Every single one. You only want the stairs and the water underneath these spawning platforms. That way you don't give anything anywhere else to spawn or else they'll mess with the rates of your farm. So then, we're going to come up here. We're going to go back on top just like that. Then you're going to go like this. So that's one block, right? So we got one block right here. This would be two blocks. So we're going to go boom. We want two blocks of space. Then we're going to break this block. We're just going to go like this, just to start off a place to land for us. If you have stairs, which I do, I have to break those as well. Remove the stairs unless you're still building the farm, which for you, you actually need the stairs, but I'm just going to use my lighter and rockets to get up. Did I already break the stairs? I must have. Yeah, I already broke the stairs. So now I just need to get on this platform. Let's see how good of a flyer I am. <laughs> All right. Yep. Okay. Perfect. So what we're going to do, now that I built this corner, we're right at the corner of the spawning platforms. We're going to go out this way. We're going to go out a long distance. Like, you can go out as far as you want. Honestly, I would do, like, probably 20 sun blocks out in this direction. It, do it doesn't have to be an exact science with this part. This part is mostly about how much resources you're willing to throw into the farm. But the more blocks you put here, the darker it'll be in your farm. As long as there's zero light, you're good. Okay, so when you're done with that, you'll end up with a grid pattern that looks something like this. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to just finish the center part first. I'm going to have to go get more blocks because all the materials I brought still weren't enough. And this isn't even as big as you can build the farm. So just uh, keep that in mind. And uh, when you're doing this stuff, it is a very wise idea if you, you know, if you want to be safe about it to start placing torches up top like this just that way if it does get dark and you're in the middle of something you can't get down very quick like i can that mobs don't spawn because they are so far away that they will spawn and you don't even need to do this roof this large i'm going kind of overkill with it that's just to make sure that during the daytime it's running perfectly well so what you're going to do is you're going to fill in this middle gap over your spawning platform then you still have to go back down and place your trap doors on this top level to make sure that you're not getting creepers and everything else spawn all right, literally thousands of blocks later and the roof is finally complete. So what I'm gonna do is set down an ender chest real quick. We're gonna take out a bunch of torches and we are gonna light this whole place up. You're gonna need a lot of torches. You could slab it, but I mean, that's, it's already thousands of blocks. Like, I wouldn't suggest uh, slabbing it up. <laughs> just do torches and just make sure there's no dark spots and you will be fine so we're gonna take off the rockets for a little bit because we're not gonna need those we'll pick back up our ender chest so literally just spam them I'm not even kidding just make sure that there is no place for anything to spawn up here you're gonna go around you're just gonna put a torch every once in a while here and there have like four stacks of torches honestly you don't need it you don't need four stacks for the whole roof but you're gonna need a lot so 
Plus, you could lose some while you're working because we have to. We still have to go back inside the farm and place down the wooden slabs. But you're gonna do this across the whole thing, and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, now that the whole roof is torched up, we're gonna come over to the farm itself, right above the water platform, which is right in the center, right here. We're gonna break a couple of these blocks, which we will place, and we're gonna put torches down before we even drop down in here just to make sure we don't have any mobs spawning on top of us while we do this next part because I've already heard mobs falling down in here and I don't want to get caught up in that so we need the trap doors again so we're going to place this shulker down we're going to take these torches off our inventory we're going to grab the trap doors that we have ready to go definitely have enough of those boom we'll pop that out just in case anything happens um, I'm gonna be ready because <laughs> right now mobs can 100% spawn in in the lower layers but I put enough torches down right here to where we shouldn't have to worry about it so now same drill as before wherever there's not a button so it's a little bit different because your roof is big so we're gonna look straight up and that should be perfect okay so then we're gonna do our grid pattern here all the way to the end of the platform we even get the cave noises because it's technically that dark in here. Little dark over here, a little sketchy, but uh, it is what it is. So boom, we have our grid pattern. Then we're going to come through and we're going to go boom, boom. You have to make sure you do this part correctly or you will get some skeletons and zombies in here and you, you don't want that. This is You did all this work to make it a creeper farm. so. Keep it a creeper farm. <laughs> Don't do all this work and screw up on the home, the home stretch, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to go in, we're going to put this whole grid pattern in, just like this. A little dark over on this side, still sketching me out a bit, but they need zero light so we should be fine. But the second we remove these torches, we have to get out <laughs> because stuff will immediately start to spawn. No doubt about it. Oh, mess that one up. I will take off my bow for right now and put on the axe to remove that. Okay, so I'm going to put in this whole grid pattern and then I will see you in a second. Whole grid pattern above. It's time to start removing torches. As you can see, it's incredibly dark down here already. And this is broad daylight, by the way. This isn't nighttime, so that's, that's pretty pitch black right there. So, we're going to make sure we have all the torches removed, everything removed. It's pretty dark in here. We are going to go like this, and then we are going to fly back. I feel like I'm missing a torch, because we have some light coming through around here somewhere. Oh, maybe not. Maybe it's just a trick of the light. Do I have a block missing up above? Might just be the way the sun's setting. Let's just make sure there's no blocks missing out of the roof, no torches on the inside. As you can see, nothing's going to be it. We're going to wait till nighttime and we're going to see exactly how this goes right here. We want to see how dark it is. We want to make sure it's pretty pitch black in here. And we want to make sure nothing spawns on the roof during the nighttime. To come right here, we got to do this part kind of quickly. We have to have everything ready to go. Because being right here stuff is going to start to spawn and drop down and it should only be creepers so we really don't want to get caught with our pants down here trident first turn on the trident killer put in the piece of glass now let's see what we get here mind you it's going to take a second for them to walk down all that so Oof. That was a lot of work. So now, just give it a second. It's going to take the creepers a second to spawn and then walk off the edge and fall in the water and fall down here. Once it gets going, it'll just keep going. Like I said, these are not the fastest farms in the world, okay? Once we start seeing creepers, though, we'll know what's up. <clears throat> and there we go 
As you can see, creepers are spawning, falling in. Only creepers so far. We'll just give it another second, but it's looking pretty good here so far. So all we do is just wait here and the creepers will continuously fall and die. It's not going to be the fastest mob farm you've ever seen in your life because it's a creeper farm. So, But all you have to do is stand here, AFK, build yourself a little AFK platform. So as these creepers are falling, which we can already see that they are, so we have no issues there. Alright, we're going to go like this. I always suggest doing this. Build yourself a little AFK room. You don't want the uh, phantom spawning and attacking you while you're AFKing. So you're just going to go like this and dig yourself in. Move, we'll remove one of these torches here. Give ourselves a nice little defensive room right here where nothing can get to us. And all you do is hold your looting three sword while you're doing this and you just afk at this farm and that's it and if you like this please like and subscribe please this is a lot of work and for the viewer who asked me for this i got it done in one night <laughs>